Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I created these beauties. So I've already gone in and prepped all the nails. By this I just mean pushing back the cuticles, going in with the cuticle clean, um, removing all the shine off the nails and applying dehydrator. I've already applied, well as you can see I'm applying one coat of acid base primer and now I'm going in with my second coat just before I'm about to apply the acrylic. So you can probably see that I have a glove on my hand. I am trying to protect my health a little bit more whilst doing nails. I think I've quite neglected, um, I see other nail techs wearing them and I think perhaps I should. Um, but these were horrible, like they were latex, they were making my fingers sweat and itch and I ended up having to take one off anyway and then it was just a big, I ended up removing them completely. So if you know what sort of gloves I should be wearing then please let me know in the comments. So I'm just going to go ahead and build a structure with clear acrylic and then I'm going to make a nail bed colour because I'm just going to apply some glitter and just do like a fade with the glitter on this nail. The glitter that I'm using is from Smiley6062 on eBay and I had to buy it after I saw Ashley Finn use it in one of her videos. I fell in love with it instantly. I will try and leave a link in the description box for that. Once I'm happy with where I've placed all that glitter, which is quite fiddly to do, I am then going to encapsulate the nail in crystal clear acrylic. Moving on to the ring finger and I'm going in with my second coat of primer and then I'm going to just lay down a clear, really thin clear base just because I'm going to go straight ahead with some coloured acrylic and it just makes your life a whole lot easier that when you go to do a redesign on this set of nails that you can just file straight back down to the clear and then redo your design. It just means you're not having to cover up different coloured acrylics. The colour that I'm using here is called Mermaid and it is from CJP.
So now I'm just going on to the middle finger and again I'm applying my second coat of primer um, and then we're going to go in with the clear tip again. This is just because we're going to apply glitter and glitter as we all know is not your strength. You do want to leave it something to lay onto to keep your nail nice and strong. And I'm then going to go in at the cuticle area with Cherry Blossom Blush, again from CJP. And I'm just going to blend that up just so that nail bed looks really nice and covered. And then once I'm happy with the cherry blossom, I'm just going to go ahead and apply a small bead of CJP Negligee. This is just like a transparent pink. This just gives that nail bed a really natural, healthy glow. So moving on to the index finger and I'm just going straight in with Cherry Blossom and I'm going to create a smile line. I'm going to try and really work hard with my brush so I haven't got to do too much filing to perfect that smile line when we come to put that colour up to it. But obviously you know you don't have to worry too much when you are doing a reverse method because you can leave it to set and file it into perfection. So now as you can see I'm just going straight in with Mermaid and I'm just going to apply this right up to that smile line making sure I'm going right to the corners and just trying to keep it really nice and neat with my brush so I haven't got loads of filing to do at the end. As you can probably tell I have removed my glove because it was just driving me crazy, my hand was sweating, the nail forms were sticking to me and ripping off and it was just crazy so yeah so I took the gloves off.
ahead and I have filed and shaped all the nails and buffed the nails and I'm sorry about this fiddly bit here it was because my hand was in the way of the camera it kept losing focus I'm just trying out a different angle because obviously I have my three-in-one nail extractor and drill that my client is leaning her hand on which I've actually covered with a towel after I filed um, I'll just cover it over so that anything that I'm spraying and stuff doesn't get into that extractor um, I'm still absolutely loving it. The drill is just phenomenal. Like people say, when you use a cheap drill and it vibrates, and then when you try a not cheap drill that doesn't vibrate, you can really tell the difference. And it was just effortless to file. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going in with the CJP Tack Free Top Coat. I'm going to pop that into the lamp for 60 seconds. I will then go ahead and apply cuticle oil. You always want to finish every service with cuticle oil because that just replenishes all them nutrients that you've dehydrated previous to acrylic application. And then that will be the finished set. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button and please subscribe if you're not already. It would mean the world. Um, I love you all and I will see you all again in my next one. Bye!